Hello, um, this is my week five on the carnivore diet and it's probably going to be a fairly short video. I don't have that much of an update. Um, I'm still feeling pretty good. Um, the only thing that I've noticed is like my nose has been really stuffy. <laughs> I don't know if it's connected at all, but my nose has been fairly stuffy. Um, I have stopped taking most of like the supplements that I used to take. I used to take like C and zinc and D and turmeric and all that kind of stuff. Um, and the only thing I take now is potassium and magnesium. So, um, maybe I'm sick and I just am not feeling anything but the stuffy nose. So I don't know, but, uh, I'll keep you updated on it if that goes away. Uh, also I always try to remind myself to do these videos before I like wash my face and shower for the end of the day. Cause on Sundays I usually put, look pretty put together. <laughs> so, but then I, I forget. And so I just got out of the shower and I was like, Oh, I forgot to do it. So you get this view of me. <laughs> um, I haven't gone grocery shopping since the second time I went shopping. Granted, I do a lot of like burger patties um, and I'm, I've been staying with my grandparents and so whenever they do like meat they'll cook it up for me as well um, and their burger patties I am out of the stock that I had for chicken um, and now I'm running on just a couple of steaks left so I need to go soon but I've been uh, really good with maintaining eating what I've been eating um, in the morning breakfast time has been saving me with homemade sausage and eggs or bacon and then just my cold brew coffee with some heavy whipping cream I've been impressed with myself on how much I've shifted in my taste for coffee I still don't like the taste of coffee but I used to get a coffee every morning or make my own coffee every morning and so still wanting to do that um I've shifted to just a plain cold brew with heavy whipping cream and I kind of like it um yeah I definitely have a taste for sweeter things now like um how do I say that like if I have something sweeter it's more of kind of a shock for me um like I think I said last week I tried my sister's coffee and it was just like so sweet that it wasn't even really yummy for me anymore um so it's interesting to feel that shift um I haven't been as tight on the budget on the budget um no the budget has been good I haven't been as tight on the diet this last week that I would like to be I need to shift it back into gear I've slipped a couple of times just because it's it is hard to go out um a couple there was a day that I had to go into town to have my tire repaired and so my sister came with me and we were hungry and we just drove through Arby's and I just got food there um and then our office where I worked as lunches on Fridays out and they were going to the best Mexican restaurant in town. So I had to get something and it just, I, it's, um, I need to, I need to get it into gear. <laughs> I do know of a couple events coming up soon, like a wedding or I have an office business dinner to go to that I will be a little less strict on my diet. Um, and I'm planning for that. So I really need to tighten up beforehand so I'm not losing progress because I've made progress. Um, I haven't checked this week, but last week I was down almost 12 pounds. I still haven't checked my measurements. I'll probably do that at the end of this week. So um, week six, I'll do a checkup on weight and um, measurements. So that's kind of my little update there. Um, I'm starting to really notice the difference in my sleep. I have set myself up on a pretty good sleep schedule to where I'm only like scheduled to be in bed for like eight and a half hours, but I'm asleep for like eight of it. Uh, it's made a pretty big difference. I also sleep all the way throughout the night. I've mentioned this before where I used to have to get up every once in a while to go to the bathroom um, just to go potty. And then I haven't had to do that. I just am asleep the entire time. So that's really great. I also wake up naturally most mornings. Granted, it sucks when it's about 20 minutes before my alarm, but uh, I just stay in bed. <laughs> so I have noticed my sleep is good. Um, I've also noticed that after being on potassium and magnesium for, I would say about four weeks now, um, 
I haven't felt so scared that my calves are going to cramp up again. Because uh, in that first, it was either the first or the second week, I had the massive Charlie horse in my calf. And it was now every morning when I stretch, I make sure to keep my feet like at a bend because then it doesn't mess with my calf muscle. But uh, I feel it not being so scary anymore. So it's helping. The potassium and magnesium are helping um, keep those good, I guess. I don't know. Um, I am hoping to make it to the store this week and buy some different foods. I've been pretty much eating the same thing and it is getting tiring. Um, I find it fascinating that I haven't had cravings. Granted, I've cheated a few times, so maybe that's why. Um, but I used to get ice cream all the time and I don't crave sweets, um, which is really shocking to me. The things that I crave, like this evening, I've been just kind of watching movies and just taking a day because I haven't had a day to just kind of do nothing. And so I've been taking that day and I'm finding myself really just wanting something to snack on, like popcorn or um, even just a little bag of chips or, um, I don't know, I used to snack on so many things that I just like, I'm missing the like snacking part of it. I'm not hungry. It's the want to snack. I would say that that's the one thing that I've noticed that I've, I've missed the most. Um, and fresh foods. Whenever I do cheat, it's always nice to have a salad or um, have a piece of fruit. I just like, it's so good. So that's probably what I've been struggling with. Um, I'd say the biggest struggle I have is going out um, and being around people or being in a restaurant and not being not wanting to be that person that's just like, oh, I need just the burger patty, please. And then having everyone just kind of look at you. I'd say that that's my least favorite part so far <laughs> and having to just deal with it. I've done it a few times, but then there's times where I just like, I, I'll, I'll take the sandwich, please. <laughs> um, I could probably remove the bread and just eat it that way, but I, I don't. Once it's there, I eat it. Also just the sandwich part. I love being able to have a sandwich and I don't know if it's because it's the bread. I just love a sandwich. So anyway, that's probably the hardest part. So I need to um, tighten up like I was saying. <laughs> so I think that's about all I got. Um, yeah. I don't think I have much else of an update, which I guess I made it longer than I thought I was. So that's good. Unless it was just a ramble, then I'm sorry. But uh, yeah, um, everyone keeps asking me how much longer I've left and I don't have a date for them because typically when we started this, it was going to be like six weeks. Um, but after the progress that we've seen and how we feel and that it's just been working, we don't have, and when I say we, I mean me and my mom, and my stepdad, I think, um, we don't have an end date. It's easy to maintain. Um, especially if you give yourself grace, I've given myself too much grace in the last week and a half. Definitely. Um, but I don't feel guilty to the point where I'm just going to give up. I'm going to reignite and push forward. <laughs> so I, uh, I'm impressed with that because typically if I'm on a diet and I cheat, it just, I cheat and cheat and cheat and cheat and cheat and then I'm just off the rails and then it just doesn't happen. Um, but I feel like it's manageable to start up again or not even just start up, but like re adjust. So I will say the last couple of times, uh, that I did cheat, one of the meals was a Mexican meal. And I could definitely tell that my gut was not happy. It was almost instantaneous that my stomach was just really unhappy with me. So it's not even, it wasn't even worth it. So I will not be doing that again. Um, and I will be better prepared for those office lunches or um, like the wedding that I have to go to. It's a three day wedding. Um, I'm in the, I'm in the bridal party. So it's the rehearsal dinner the night before the wedding the next day and then the day after to help clean up. So I, don't think we have a fridge for me to bring my own food, so it'll be a rough weekend. Um, but anyway, that is what I got for you for week five. So again, if you have questions or comments or concerns, I guess just comment them below. But um, thanks for sticking around and good luck. <laughs>